Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here as always. Today we are finishing up the 2023 LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendar. Uh, we're going to be starting from door number 20 and going to 24. Uh, by the time this is uploaded, it'll be Christmas, so uh, Merry Christmas to everybody who celebrates it, and uh, Happy Holidays to everybody else. Uh, let's pop into this. Um, we still haven't gotten to the Ewok yet, so we'll see uh, how many doors it takes. Uh, alrighty. We are... Ah. We're starting off... Christmas sweater Palpatine. This is kind of the whole reason why I get these. Besides really cute little builds, but you get these these holiday themed characters. These mini figures. You can only get them in the advent calendars. And I just find them really adorable. <clears throat> uh, I mean, considering the fact that you've got Palpatine, this absolutely evil guy. Just casually wearing a Death Star Christmas sweater. Probably sipping some hot chocolate. It's it's quite the uh, quite the departure from the norm. It's very good. In the past, they've had uh, several Vaders, Darth Maul, a BB-8. Um, I think they had a Dio with a. Uh, Santa hat, um, Finn, Poe, I think they had Ray. Um, I'm not sure what else they've had, but you always get at least one. This year it's uh, Palpatine and Ewok. There it is. And here is his throne to go along with him. A quick, easy little thing, and yeah, these little triangle wedges, as opposed to the cheese slopes. These are actual triangles for his armrests. What do we have here? We have. The hinge on the back, tile on the front. It's there, sides, and the headrest. Cute little Palpatine throne. I'm just going to throw him in there. There we go. Cute little guy there. So that was 20 and 21. 22 is right over here. This is... Looks like First Order Star Destroyer. I don't know if you can see it there. Which, I mean, say what you will about the sequels. I can go on and on about what I don't like about them. Um, I think one of the biggest ones I had is that the designs were uninspired. Like, especially you've got got the First Order, and you're just going to give them Star Destroyers that are just kind of chunkier versions of the Imperial Star Destroyer. Like, you have such a drastic change between the Republic cruisers and the Imperial Star Destroyers. Like, you could see, <clears throat> you know, the... inspiration, kind of, or the, uh, the, how it's derived from the Republic cruiser in the design of the Star Destroyer. And then you've got the First Order Star Destroyer, which is like, man, that's just, it's just a ripoff. Although that 
with the bridge the way it is, I I think I am mistaken. That could just be the starter star. I don't know. The wedge shape's a little wide. Because if it didn't have that bridge, so if, if it didn't have that bridge, that would be closer to, like, the first order. <clears throat> but it's the bridge here. I don't know. Yeah, I'd, I would have to say that's probably imperial but my point still stands i don't i don't think the uh the designs for the ships for the the sequels were that great they were a little derivative and i don't know it just felt like more of the same and it wasn't really anything new and uh <clears throat> what is this Ah, we're going back to the prequels here. This is one that they've never actually had a set for. If I am thinking this is correct in my assumption. No. Actually, no. No, I don't, I don't know what this is. I'll have to build it to figure it out. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. It's brown. Oh! It's an Ewok hang glider. Is that what that's supposed to be? I think it's supposed to be an Ewok hang glider. Because I know we had a Minoc, I think maybe last year or the year before that. And I, at first I was thinking this was the uh, troop carrier for the Separatists. The, the big four-winged thing. Is this? Yeah, this, this has to be an Ewok hang glider. No? What is? I mean, they've got the wings tilted down, so that's... That's my only guess. It has to be the Ewok hang glider. Which means, door number 24, the very last one, must be... The Ewok, although I have seen some videos on Instagram where someone opened up several of these and they got two Commander Cody's. Or it's not, he wasn't a Commander Cody, he was uh, the, the clone from Commander Cody's battalion. And I, I forget which door that was, but I think it was uh, 9 and 6. Where 6 was the clone trooper and 9 is supposed to be something else. I forgot what was 9 was. Yeah, nine's supposed to be the stap. And uh, they kept pulling those out of it. And, like two or three of these boxes, and the third one they opened had the actual build in it. But hopefully this one's okay. I haven't had any issues. It's the Ewok. And they really held out on this one. Because I was expecting it back on uh, when they did the Ewok Village. I was expecting it back then. And these are all super simple. It's just... Uh, printed head and chest and stuff like that and then the short little legs and bam cute little white Ewok with the green sweater I mean can you even call that a sweater it's, a, it's more like a hood but yeah he a little Christmas Ewok and he goes along with I'm gonna pop him on here see if it works no the uh, things too wide that just seems like a... Get it down here, maybe. Barely make it in there. But you can't have the hands up at all. So unless you've got it in the back, that's probably how it's gonna have to be. Come on, get up on there. Have the hands straight behind him. Kind of to the back. I guess that's as close as you can get to it. Kind of twist it a little. 
Hmm. And that's kind of close to how they had it because it went there and they would drop stuff from above. I guess that's as close as they can get unless I have it backwards and it's supposed to be like that. I don't know, but they have it like that, so that way it doesn't make sense. Yeah, let's pop it on like that and call that good. Sometimes you gotta have a little bit of interpretation on what these are, but I'm I'm assuming it's supposed to be kind of that way. Ah. Well, I'm having a time getting that to work. Having a bit of a time. <clears throat> the back kind of gets in the way a little, and then you have to have the hands a little further up, which pulls them together because the sides of the figure are slanted. And yeah, it doesn't really stick in there very well, so we'll just pop that on. It's supposed to go that way. There we go. I'm just gonna have it there with one hand. And we'll we'll call that good. Call it good. Alright. This one's done. And uh you got really good little little guys here. Little builds, a lot of endar stuff. Um and then we'll have to see what they do next year. Anyways, uh, happy holidays, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one.